Okay, this video is going to be about, is my transmitter legal? Um, it's a good uh, test uh, if you have a spectrum analyzer. And so here is a project. Uh, this is what's called a 49er. Um, and it's a 7 megahertz CW transceiver. And it outputs supposedly up to 5 watts. So let's take a look. Uh, it's a cute little board. Uh, power comes in here. You, you key it here. You put headphones here. Uh, I added an SMA connector to bring out uh, the power. The uh, power is going into a uh, attenuator and then into the spectrum analyzer. So make sure you don't blow up your spectrum, spectrum analyzer. Uh, this is a 30 dB attenuator, so it should be safe. And uh, we're going to apply power. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, spectrum analyzer and we're going to key down. And we see a little bit of activity over there. So we're wide span. So let's do a frequency. We know it's going to be around 7 megahertz. And then um, uh, let's do a span of 10 megahertz. Let's do that. So we should be there somewhere. Let's key down the transmitter. And oh, there's a, there's a signal. OK, that looked good. Um, let's go ahead and do a uh, peak hold. And so I will key down. And there we go. We have a, we have a peak hold. We can do a, a peak search on it. And it's around 7.05 megahertz. And the output is at minus 4 dBm. Minus 4 dBm through a 30 dB attenuator is plus 26 dBm. So it's not really outputting the power that I want. That's another issue, but we won't worry about it right now. For the, for the sake of this video, let's just assume everything's fine power-wise. And so everything looks great, right? And there's no spurs, there's no nothing. Well, if you have a 7 megahertz uh, transmitter, the first harmonic will be at 14 megahertz. That's why the hand bands are spaced the way they are. If you uh, have, a, have a bad transmitter on 7, you're going you're gonna to destroy your neighbors on 14, right? So let's widen out so we can see everything. So if we're at 7 and we want to go C14, uh, we're going to have to then maybe go in the middle, okay? So let's do, uh, let's say we'll do frequency of 10 megahertz and we'll do a span of uh, 30 megahertz and uh, we'll uh, turn off our um, hold. Let's key down and uh, looks like we're getting nothing. So what happened? We're getting no power. Oh, I probably, I, I'm probably not seeing uh, the 7 megahertz. So let's go back. Let's see here. I think I set the center frequency. Oh, yeah, my center is at 30 megahertz. That's not good. So frequency 10 megahertz center, span of, let's say, 30 megahertz. Uh, let's see if we see anything there. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting a bunch of stuff, right? So let's go to frequency of 14. We'll put 14 in the middle. And we'll do a span of uh, 14, 28. We'll do a span of 25 megahertz. How about that? There we go. We're seeing three. Nice. OK. So again, we're going to do trace, hold. And we're going to capture the peaks of these things. All right, so this is good. This is what we need to know. All right, so let's take a look at these peaks. Uh, we'll, we'll set the marker. So our uh, carrier is at 7 megahertz, and it's around minus, minus 2.3 dBm. So that's a plus 27. So plus 27 dBm, that's pretty good power. Uh, and then our second harmonic is here at 14 megahertz. And then we have a third harmonic here at 21 megahertz. Okay, those are the hand bands, remember. All right, so let's do a search peak. We'll do a delta marker. We'll go to the next right. So now we have these two. 
They are 7.18 megahertz, 7.13 megahertz apart. And uh, from the top of this to the bottom, the top of that one is minus 20.7 dB. All right, so there's a, a drop of 20 dB for the first harmonic. Is that good enough? This one's lower. We only have to worry about the highest one, okay? We could try to go measure that one. We could go next right. It's uh, minus 43 dB down, okay? Uh, we'll go back left, that one. All right. So, are we legal? Okay, so let's write this down. We have a minus 20.7 dB from carrier to, to first harmonic, all right? Okay, so now we need to go read the rule book. We need to read the actual law, which is known as part 97. So let's go take a look at that. Let me, let me move things here so we've got some room. All right, here's our schematic, uh, parts list. And in the back, I printed out the part of uh, the law that we're interested in. It is in, um, like I said, part 97, somewhere down in the middle there somewhere, you get to this paragraph and I'll read it to you because I know it's too small. Can I, zoom? I can't zoom in anymore. It's too small. It says for transmitters installed after January 1st, 2003. Okay, we installed this after that. The mean power of any spurious emissions. What is a spurious emission? It means any emission of RF energy that's not the carrier. Okay, they're not, so they're not talking about the carrier, but anything else. So the biggest thing we have is the second harmonic. So that's our spurious emission from a station transmitter, that's what we have, or external RF power amplifier, no, transmitting on a frequency below 30 megahertz. So there are other sections for other frequencies, but we're at seven megahertz. So we are, this paragraph says below 30 megahertz, must be at least 43 dB below the mean power of the fundamental emission. Fundamental emission means your carrier frequency, right? So your carrier frequency and then the second harmonic, it says that you need to be at least 43 BD down. Now we were only minus 20, what were we? I wrote it down. We were minus 20.7, 21 dB down, and we're supposed to be 43 dB down. So it is not legal to transmit on this device right now. It is against the law. Um, and it says, uh, must not exceed 50 milliwatts and must be at least 40 dB. Okay, so now um, it says here for a transmitter of mean power less than five watts, so there's a different law if your transmitter is below five watts, which we are, so we get to use this next clause. For a transmitter of mean power less than five watts installed on or before January, on or before, uh, interesting. I think they mean after. Anyway. Um, oh, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, you have to read the law really, really careful. It says for a transmitter of for less than five watts installed on or before 2003, then you need to be 30 dB down, okay? So we're getting close. We could tweak up our maybe our amplifier and we could get to 30 dB. But it looks like by law, we're still not able to use this clause because it says that we have to be on or before 2003. And we are after that. So I think we have to be 43 dB down, right? So we're going to have to work on this, uh, on this amplifier um, and if, if, we, if we want to use it and be at least 43 dB down. Now, how can you do that? Well, you can put in more filtering. So if your amplifier is outputting spurs, you need to have some filters uh, to kill the spurs. If we take a look at the uh, take a look at the schematic, uh, so this is the uh, transmitter right here. Uh, the uh, uh, oscillation comes in here to a first driver transistor. The driver transistor then goes to the final amplifier, which is this transistor, and then it goes out. So this transistor is creating harmonics. So you need to kill those harmonics with filtering on the output. So here's the filtering on the output. It is this L4 
plus this C, I can't read it, C18, 470 picofarads and three turns on some type of, anyway, it is, um, it is this inductor here plus a capacitor is the filtering for the output. And right now that's not enough. It's not killing the harmonics. So um, one would have to build a Pi network, uh, add a second section of stuff uh, to get this cleaner and to get things coming out.